Hey guys, Sean here at Mahalo.com, and in today's lesson, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about installing programs in Windows 7. Just download your install package, then simply double click it, and then click Yes to allow the program to make changes. Then, depending on the program you're installing, you'll have a few menus to go through. Make sure you read everything on the screen and know what's going on. This is primarily just an introduction window, and we'll hit Next. Then you have your license agreement. No matter on what you plan to do with the software, you might want to look over the license agreement. Then click I agree. This is just showing us which destination the program is going to install in. So for instance, program files x86 Winamp. This means the program is a 32-bit program because it is installing itself in the x86 program files, which is for 32-bit programs. If it just says program files without the x86, that's for 64-bit programs. Then hit next. Just make sure in this section that you have the items selected you want to install and not items you do not want to install. For instance, I'm not a big fan of the Winamp agent always being in my taskbar, so I'll make sure that that's unclicked. And I'll hit next. And I can choose the name in the startup. Also, if I want to start menu entry, quick launch, and desktop icon. Now right here, these are additional items I do not want installed with my program, so this is where I'll unclick these items. More common than not, you'll see a lot of items added on to installs that aren't necessarily helpful to you and you really don't want those items installed. Just pay attention when you're installing programs to make sure you're not installing additional items that you do not want. Then I just hit install. And then more times than not, when a program is finished installing, I'll give you the option to launch the program and also view the README. And for this instance, we can launch the program and we can also visit the website. So all I have to do is hit finish. And the program is installed. Also, the program should be on the start menu under all programs. And that's the basics of installing a program in Windows 7. If you'd like to stay connected to this learning course, make sure to subscribe and feel free to rate and comment below. And thanks for watching.